Okay, I'm back. So anyways, it's not really... I don't know. I'm Like I said, I'm more nostalgic for Minecraft as it is now, so... I can wait until the official release to play 1.8. That's not to say I won't play it when it comes out. I will, but... Until it's officially released, I'm cool with Minecraft 1.7. It's fine by me. And that land thing is rather random. Look at that. That's pretty cool. I wonder if that's kind of an effect of the uh, merging of the old alpha world generator and the beta. Because this originally was one of the old alpha worlds, remember? So I wonder if there's kind of a mix and match effect or if that's just... Just a natural thing of the beta generator. I don't know. Come on, reeds. That's what I'm out here for is reeds. back this way if I want to stay anywhere near home. I only need a few more. I have three pieces of paper. I just need, what, five more? So, like six more reeds altogether. Actually, not even that because I already have like two of them. So I only need about four reeds. So even just a couple plants worth. In case you're wondering, the lag's being caused by generating new chunks of the world. Lag's not really an issue if you're staying at your home base area working on a project, because you're staying at chunks you've already loaded several times, so... But it uh, can get to be more of an issue when you're out exploring, getting new land. And here's some clay. Fantastic. Right over there is home that way. And what is a burning zombie or skeleton or whatever that was over there doing? Must have come out of a cave. Unfortunately, this isn't nearly enough clay for what I need, but it's a good start. <laughs> Even though I originally am out here for the reeds, so that I could make a map so that I could go find the clay. <laughs> Better save. Um... All kinds of caves in this area. That's good if I ever need to go exploring for that sort of stuff. Come on, game. Stop it. Home is just over that way. I'm trying to keep... Trying to keep home and relatively close distance. One, in case I should happen to die for some reason, and two, so I can avoid the syndrome of getting lost. See, there's my portal over there. I can get lost fairly easily. Those of you who remember my original Let's Play will know that in caves especially, I get lost. <laughs> Very easily. Disgustingly easily at times, really.
There's home there. The pumpkin palace. Gotta say, the pumpkin palace is not in a particularly good area for reeds, which is rather unfortunate. I do like the landscape, though. That's actually pretty nice. Be even nicer if the lag would knock it off. I don't know what that does. I don't know if that does anything, but let's try that, I guess. Maybe. Maybe that'll help with lag a bit. I, I have no idea what those settings do. Don't really know the know the difference there. I could turn it to, you know, fast and whatever else, but I'd rather keep it on the fancy graphics. If I can. Getting distracted again. A lot of coal in the area. Easily exposed, easily to get coal. Come on, game. Be right back again. Alright, I'm back. This is not particularly turning out in my favor. The search for reeds. Look at this random tree out in the middle of nowhere. Single lone tree. It kind of has yellowy leaves too. That's weird. Random is random. I'm going to try and make it back home before dark. Put the clay away, if nothing else. Or get that to cooking, I guess. Hey, skellies. Yeah, feel free to all burn up and die. Nope, you gotta die. Burn up and die already. God, how long does it take you guys? Thank you. Crying out loud. Get out of my way, sheep. I got a long ways to go before I make it home. This could prove to be interesting for you guys. <laughs> uh, this was kind of a dumb idea. Will I make it home? Or will I be destroyed? Stay tuned to find out. Dun dun dun. Hey, piggies. Gotta say, with all the weird changes that are going on in 1.8, the one that I have seen from the pre-release that I absolutely love is that uh, piggies have snouts now. They have like these little sort of vertical half slab looking things in the front of their faces to make them have actual snouts. I gotta say, that's pretty awesome right there. 
the idea that they have snouts. That's pretty cool. I made it home safe and sound. Didn't even have to face a single enemy. Fantastic. I need to get rid of this clay. I sure do have a lot of random junk. Let's go ahead and make another chest. And I didn't nearly get enough planks to do it. Because I am retarded. Haven't really seen the other animals in the 1.8 pre-release stuff. Because like I said, I haven't really watched much of the footage. For one thing, I don't want to ruin 1.8 for myself. I kind of want to experience it on my own, but... I don't know where I was going with that, by the way, in case you're wondering why I'm not saying anything else on that. <laughs> uh, I'm retarded. Um, just put that up for now, I guess. Right. Sleepy, sleepy time. Fantastic. All right. Still on the search for reeds. I am glad we found some clay. Actually, I should get a stack of that cooking uh, now that I think about it. Because we'll need it cooked to make the bricks. already went this way for the reeds and didn't really see them. Which is a bummer. But, uh... Let's wander around a bit. Maybe go off this way. Hmm. I don't know. I do I do really like this texture pack. I think it's a bit of an improvement over default textures, but I don't know. Now with the lag acting up, uh, I might just go back to default textures or maybe a maybe a new painterly pack. Um I don't know. This this lag seems to be on and off for some reason. Like, there are some days where I can record and play and never have almost any lag at all. And then there's some days where I can't even hardly play it without getting a bunch of lag. And here's some more clay. Good old beta world generation has made it so clay is far more readily accessible. Is fantastic. I really hope that doesn't get screwed up again in one in the 1.8 update. That kind of suck if the whoops if the clay generation got goofed up again. 
clay is already annoying enough as it is to go and try and get. As you've seen, I have to go on a specific hunt just to find it. So yeah, anyways, let me know what you guys think. If you want to want me to uh, maybe keep on with the faithful texture pack here, um, let me know and I could see about working that out. Um, if you would rather want me to play with the default textures, uh, let me know and I could certainly do that. Um, Or if you want me to come up with a brand new painterly pack design, I could do that as well. Painterly is one of those texture packs that uh, allows for a great amount of easy customization and uh, they have a crap ton of choices when it comes to it. So I could come up with another painterly pack. Um, they're also fairly quick at updating with the game as well, which is one thing I really like about them. Uh, keep in mind that your opinion on this is more so for my next dedicated Minecraft series, these random videos. It doesn't really matter so much. I can have whatever texture pack I wanted, really. Uh, but for my next dedicated series, once 1.8 comes out, uh, like I said before, I want to keep a more uniform look. So whatever texture pack I use, whether it's default or this one or painterly or whatever, I want to use it throughout the whole series if at all possible so keep that as a factor as well what kind of texture pack out of these three options would you like to see the most you know um, as far as painterly and default goes they're both the regular 16 by 16 texture packs so there shouldn't be really an issue as far as performance or whatever from them. They should both perform relatively the same. This faithful one here is a little bit more intense just because it's double the resolution, but... It all depends on how things go, I guess. Funny how I'm on the search for reeds and I'm finding far more clay than reeds at this point. It's like my search for reeds to make a map is almost unimportant really. chicken you're about to die I need to <sighs> really stupid useless water Oh, of course, you've got to find your way in somewhere.
Oh, this was not a good idea. Mm. Not a good idea. Mm. Not a good idea at all. That was a pretty craptastic idea, actually. Yay for hurting myself for no good reason. This is quite a bit of clay right here. Okay, I need to be getting my way out of here. And once again, I need to see about getting home. Well, my search for reeds has been major suckage, but my search for clay has been fantastic. <laughs> oh, Minecraft, how you like to make me a fool. Hopefully enemy mobs don't spawn on ice. That should help keep me somewhat protected. But they do spawn on land and there's a zombie right there and others over there. Hooray. Stay away from me and I will stay away from you and everybody will be happy. Happy indeed. Do 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 do. Right. Take those clay bricks. Ooh, got a few more stacks of clay. That's fantastic. Pop that in there. That in there. Marvelous, just marvelous. <coughs> well, it was. <coughs> oh, I hate you so much. There must just be a certain point. If you let it get to a certain point at night, then you have to be, like, uber secure about your bedroom area. But if you get there early enough, then you don't have to worry about it at all. I, I don't, I don't get that. Now I get to rearrange everything because the game hates me.
There's no good reason why mobs should be in here. None. I'll open one of these doors, which is the most ridiculous, unintuitive thing I've ever heard of. But supposedly one of these doors, I don't remember which one, but one of them is supposed to keep the room closed by being open. Which is just retarded. <laughs> and quite apparently it's not that one. Whoever mentioned that is a big fat fibber. Leaving a door open does not help the situation in the slightest. I just left both open and I still got zombies. Either way. So you, good sirs, are liars. Whoever mentioned that, you're a fibber, you're a liar, and I do not believe you. <laughs> <laughs> 